Now we are here in the greenhouse of the Gothenburg Botanical Garden, the largest one in the Nordic countries. My name is Alexander Antonelli. I'm a professor in biodiversity and systematics at the University of Gothenburg, where I lead a research group dealing with biodiversity, especially in the tropics. And I'm also director of the Gothenburg Global Biodiversity Center. I think that the protection of biodiversity is one of the major challenges that we are facing as a society today. And it's not something that only politicians and policymakers are going to solve for us. It really depends on the actions of common people. Uh, all of us that go into the shop to buy food for tomorrow or to choose what kind of clothes we should wear and where we should send our money if we have a bit of a surplus. So I think the only way forward in terms of protecting biodiversity and understanding it correctly is to engage as many people as possible and get them understanding the value of biodiversity for their own lives and for the future of, uh, of our planet and also for the generations that are to come. I couldn't imagine myself a summer without butterflies or a spring without birds singing. And those values are hopefully something that will be present even for the many generations that are to come after us here. To me, this goal is really essential because it's really exactly what we are doing in my research group and myself. We are trying to understand why some regions have many more species than others and what's going to happen now with climate change and habitat destruction across the planet. We are doing this because we want to understand which species and which regions are in most need of care so that we can take one step before species go extinct or native areas get destructed. And by understanding what are the main targets of conservation, we can also avoid loss of biodiversity, which is now uh, something that is affecting every ecosystem on the planet. Well, if I was going to have a coffee break or Swedish fika with a very important person, uh, there are some different ideas that come to my mind. I think it would be natural to say that I would like to meet a very, very rich person who doesn't really know what to do with the money because we have a lot of ideas about how to implement biodiversity conservation into a broad scale. But actually, I think I would prefer to meet someone who has a lot of influence on people's behavior from another perspective. So I think I would like to invite uh, a representative for a big religion, such as the Pope, because the Pope has control or influence on the mind and feeling of hundreds of millions of people not least in Latin America, where most species on the planet are. If I could convince the Pope to send a very strong message to the common people on the street why biodiversity is so important to their lives and for the future of our own species on the planet, I think I would probably be able to convince more people to take responsibility for conserving nature and also for protecting biodiversity. I also would like to invite to this meeting uh, a strong economist because if we can also show the extreme value, not only as ethic, um, if we could show the extreme value of biodiversity, not only in terms of uh, the moral aspects that we cannot really kill any species, we don't have the right for that, but actually that biodiversity is also very valuable as a resource for medicines, food, uh, and many other things that humans need. I think we would also be one step further in terms of convincing people and getting them engaged in conserving biodiversity on a daily basis. So ideally, out of this meeting, I'll have both someone who could convince people uh, to act because of what they're feeling in their heart, but also convince other people who just act thinking about their wallet, or perhaps even a combination of both. That would be the best, perfect, the best possible situation.